Okay, welcome back. Alex from Idea Spot here. Today we are working on our fourth video of the fashion website series, this website called Style Soul. Today we are working on the blog page. So let's click blog and see what we've got. So by default, we've got a our first featured post is is showing up the top here. We've got a slider banner type display there, and then we've got our post masonry display. Now it looks a little bit clunky because of the, the demo Hello World post that gets installed when you install WordPress. So the first thing we might do is uh, let's get rid of that. So let's go to our dashboard. I'll open a dashboard up there. And we just want to go to posts and we want to delete that Hello World post. Let's just trash. There we go. Now let's look at our blog again. Let's refresh. And this is more what we'd expect our blog to look like. Now let's hit edit page. So the only problem with the free version of Elementor, well, one of the main issues is the free version doesn't give you the blog editor, but we can just use Gutenberg in this case. So that's what we're doing. Um, it is a little bit more clunky than Elementor, but um, we can do it for free. We can do it right now and I can teach you right now. So. Uh, let's get started. So the first thing we might do is change the background image. Let's just click on the background image. There we go. Background is there and replace the image with maybe, let's go for this girl sitting on the ledge. There we go. I don't mind that. Um, we can change the blog to, um, let's call it just style. Style soul news maybe. And this, I would mind that a little bit bigger, this column. Um, I think I accidentally clicked something there. Like I said, it's a little bit clunkier than Elementor. Here we go. Now we've got our column. We can change the column width. I'd like it about, yeah, 70%. Anything you like. Hit update, that will save it. I didn't really like this slider, so let's go ahead and get rid of this block here anyway. We can just remove it. We've just got our, our heading, our number one featured post and our masonry layout. We can change that to, uh, ooh, I like that, style stories. We could even call it style soul stories. Let's hit update. Uh, this is our masonry layout. We can click on it and we can change the post masonry to show more posts. So there we go. We can, you can have that right up to 100. Um, let's just go ahead and max it out. You can choose how many columns. Three is nice. Two is nice as well. One is really big. I quite like the default three columns. And we can hit update. Um, I didn't really want this consultation thing in either. We can go ahead and remove it. And... This was actually that read more button. Um, we can get rid of that as well. There we go. Remove the block. It is a little bit fiddly now. There's there's bits and pieces that we want to remove. Um, it's not as friendly as Elementor for sure. I prefer to avoid using this, but for this case, we just wanted to clean up that blog page, hit update. Um, we can go and have a look at our posts. Let's, let's look at what a post looks like. That's a post. We can go to the blog. Um, it's got our nice big featured posts, our background image and our masonry layout. I don't mind that. Let's look again at our post. The only thing I might change about this is this little bit of, um, metadata. So we need to go into our theme customizer to remove that. So let's just go ahead, click customize. 
Our theme customizer will load up and we want to look at the layout and blog and the single post. So this is our single post meta. We can hide the category and we can hide that live comment. I think that just cleans it up a bit. You might want to add something like maybe the date is nice to have just to show how fresh the post is. Um, whatever you like and hit publish. Now I will show you how to add a post to your blog in just a second. So let's do that. All we need to do is go back to our dashboard. Um, we click on posts and you can just add new. And this will, again, we'll be using Gutenberg to add a post, but I'll show you how to do this. Just do a test post. Um, you can start typing anything here and just a basic paragraph. Um, Astra gives you a lot of um, blocks that you can add in. You can just add a block and Astra has given you a widget called ultimate add-ons blocks. And so you've got lots of different things you might want to add in testimonials, um, the post masonry design, for example, advanced headings. Um, let's just keep it simple with a heading and some text for this demonstration. Um, and then the only thing we want to add is a featured image. Always set up a featured image because those are the images that show up on your main blog page. So, and the excerpt, if it's left blank, the excerpt will just take the first paragraph and use that as your excerpt. So you can leave it blank. It's totally fine. Um, let's hit publish. And now when we look at our blog, we should see our test post. So let's view the post. That's what it will look like. We've got our title, our date, our featured image and our paragraph. Let's go back to the blog. There we go. That's the latest post now. Um, and that's really all there is to it. You've got our featured image. So always use a featured image so it looks good on the main blog page. But um, that's really all there is to it. You can add blogs anytime you want. Just hit add new post and follow that process. Um, play around with those Gutenberg ultimate add-ons as well. You can do some really cool layouts. So um, if you found this helpful, just make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I'm going to come back with another video where I customize the contact form. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time.